Hello everyone. This is a statistics question which was posted as a daily practice in my WhatsApp and Facebook groups. If you would like to join those groups, please see the description below. We are going to start looking at this problem the same way we look at all the daily questions. What is the wrong method and some of the mistakes people make in solving this question and then go on to the right approach to solve this question. It's a very reasoning based question. So you would be surprised at the kind of mistakes people make. It would be good for you to know each even if you are not making the mistake so that you don't make the same mistake in some of the similar questions. Before we go forward, if you find this video helpful, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I personally answer every comment posted on my videos. Okay, so let's get started with the wrong approach or the mistakes people make in solving these kind of problems. Okay, we'll, we'll start with something that everybody gets right is the fact that we are given the nine students of the class and we are given the score of the eight of the students. And since we are given things like median and range, we need to put them in order. So the first step is to put these scores that we are given in appropriate increasing order or decreasing order as may as you may seem fit and here is how it would look. So here are the numbers noted in the increasing order. Now here's the first mistake people make and I hope you notice the mistake I have made and if you have not that is okay because you have you, have, you weren't looking at my thought process. However I hope you don't make the same mistake in the exam. The mistake I made is this is only seven numbers. If you count them these are only seven numbers although we are given for the eight of them so I am missing a number and that is the first mistake it is a silly mistake however it can cost you the question so just make sure that the numbers align in, in terms of just making sure that you have put down eight numbers here because there are eight numbers given as you can see there are only seven numbers I have jotted down here so I'm missing something and what I'm, I was missing was 53. The other thing that you can do in the exam a quick tip is when you're writing these numbers down in your whiteboard space them out when you're writing it so that when you miss something like I did here you can add that number right in the middle or stick that number right in the middle without having to rub and wasting additional time. So that was a silly mistake and the only person who can actually help yourself solve silly mistakes is you yourself by paying more attention and doing some checks and balances whenever you are doing these things like I did the check of counting the values to make sure I've jotted down all eight of them and not six or seven of them. So that was the first mistake. Let's start looking at the other mistakes people make. So statement one, the median of all scores is 45. Since we have arranged them in increasing order, there is one score we don't know, right? The ninth student score. That student score can be somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here, basically anywhere. But what we are given in the first statement is the median of the scores is 45. 45 is a value that is in the set. Since there are nine students in the set, 45 has to be nine plus one divided by two, which is the fifth value in the set. As you can see here, one, two, three, four. So currently 45 is the fourth value in the set, not the fifth value. So when we start with statement one, where 45 is the median, we know that the value, the ninth score has to lie somewhere below 45 but we don't know where it could be between 38 and 45 it could be all the way back um, so this is clearly insufficient to answer the question however we will keep in mind that if we come back to combining one and two 45 has to be the fifth value in the set now statement two the range of the all scores is 38 now range is maximum value minus minimum value here the range is right now 20 and 57 so 57 minus 20 is only 37 of course the range is 38 not 37 so something is wrong here there has to be another value and that other value is 19 when you have one less then your range would be 38 so you would mark 19 as your answer and say okay I know the last value is 19 I have a unique value and hence statement B is sufficient to answer the question and mark B as the answer and that would be wrong and here is why first let me cross out B even though you calculated 19 as a possibility for the ninth value because 19 minus 57 is 38 and the range is 38 
However, you are making the assumption that the maximum value is fixed at 57. None, nowhere in the question it is given that the maximum value is 57. So that is a bad assumption. The maximum value could be different and minimum value could be 20, in which case the maximum value could be 58. So this value could be 58 and that is another possible value of the ninth score. So either 19 on this side, making the range as 38 or 58, making the range again as 38 because 20 is your minimum value. And that is a very, very common mistake people make in a hurry and get this question wrong. So B is definitely not the answer choice and a lot of people mark B as the answer choice here and th that's the kind of the mistakes people usually make on this question let's talk about the right approach and the right answer okay so here's the right approach to solve this question first we will make sure that we have put all the numbers we have arranged all the numbers in increasing order or it could be decreasing order we have also made sure that we have not made a silly mistake and counted the numbers out so there are and make sure that we did not miss any numbers in the middle and finally starting to look at the answer choices in the wrong approach we already looked at why one is insufficient to answer the question so i'm just going to write insufficient here we also talked about why two is insufficient to answer the question and also the mistake people make quickly the reason why two is insufficient to answer the question is because one of the numbers could be 19 or the number could be 58 in both cases the range is 38 hence 2 is insufficient to answer the question let's look at what happens when you combine 1 and 2 together so you are given the median of scores 45 now in the current order 45 is actually the fourth number since there are nine numbers and the median is n plus 1 divided by 2th number which is fifth number 45 has to be the fifth number in the sequence so that means the ninth students marks lies somewhere below 45 and we don't know where but somewhere here so that the median becomes 45 it could also be 45 right so that's what we know from statement number one from statement number two we know that the range of all the scores is 38 and we knew there were two possible values that could make the range as 38 one was 58 which is way above 45 and one was 19 which is way below 45 however so statement one is telling us that the value the ninth mark has to be less than or equal to 45 statement two is telling us that there are two possibilities 19 and 58 for the range to be 38 when you combine this these two statements there is only one value 19 which is actually less than 45 that would fit the description and hence the math test score and hence the math test score for the ninth student would be 19. That is sufficient to answer the question because you're getting a unique value. So the answer to this question is C. Both statements together are sufficient to answer the question. I hope you found this video helpful and you will not make some of the mistakes that we discussed in this question that people are prone to make. If you are prone to making any of these mistakes, please comment below. I would like to know that you learned something new from this video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.